Yeah, man. I've been having like financial problems, and I want to know if I'm going to be okay. The money is coming, you know, because because uh, you need to get uh, these divorce proceedings going so you can get some money from that jackal. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. Because the money is coming. Okay. You understand me? Because okay. I'm, I'm not seeing your first two cards are the two of pentacles and then the, the ace of pentacles. Yes. And those are very powerful monetary cards, very powerful money cards, all right? Yes. Yes, ma'am. You know, and, uh, and believe me something, you know, your 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 uh, husband is very uh, frustrated right now. He's mad. He's crazy. He's mad. I know he is. I know it. He but is. you know what? Why aren't you listening? Somebody is telling me that you should be getting a restraining order. Why haven't you done that? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Miss Cleo, you hit it right on the spot again. I know, baby. Why haven't you done it? Because I wasn't sure if I was making the right decision. Honey, don't start crying. You're going to make me cry up, all right? You did the right thing, sweetheart. My concern is for your safety because he's a sneaky man. You hear me? Yes, ma'am. All right? No, no, no. But not cry. Okay. All right? You not cry. If you're crying tears of triumph, then cry on. But okay. I don't want you to cry tears of fear. Oh, thank you so all much. All right? I love you. You stay strong, all right? You too. And you take care of them babies. They're all going to make you proud. I love you, baby. It's going to be too, all right. Cleo. And I'm very proud of you. If no one has told you that, I am very proud of you. You hear me? Thank you so much. All right, baby. Thank you take care of yourself. God bless you. All right? Thank you. All right, Bye -bye. sweetheart. Bye-bye. You've been watching. You can see how accurate and personal our reading from Miss Cleo can be. What will I have to tell you? Call me now for your own reading. Experience the mystery, the magic, and the miracle of a lifetime. Call now for your tarot reading and experience the magic of the tarot cards. Caller? Hello, Miss Cleo. Yes, hello, darling. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I am doing good, sweet pea. Give me your first name only and the city you're calling me from. I am calling from Stony Bottom, and my first name is Toby. Oh, I like that. Toby, I fit you. It fits you well. All right, Toby, come and tell me what your question is. Oh, I need your birth date first, Toby. Okay, it's October 26, 1954. I knew it. I, knew it. I just had a very strong feeling about you that you are a Scorpio. All right, Toby, what's your question? I am going through a divorce, mm -hmm. and I have a 15-year-old son. I'm worried about him. Mm -hmm. He's not with me. Mm -hmm. Um... He comes and goes. Yeah. And also, if I will have another romance. All right. But you know what, sweetheart? I need you to heal up from this one. Right. You're very good at keeping everything here. But you work very hard to keep your exterior very controlled, don't you? Yes. Yes, very hard. You're shaking inside, sweetheart. Right now, yes. Yeah. You're shaking inside. You have been for the last month. Yes. All right. You're not eating because you're losing weight. I'm looking at you. Yes, I have been. Yeah. I right? have been. And you need to heal up from this, though. This is a, this a gaping wound. Take your time, all right? I actually would like to see you take the next year down from a relationship, per se, because you're not going to be ready. There's so much mistrust and there's so much hurt right now. Something here is unsettling for me because I do not waver when it comes to what I see. I'm getting an enormous pain. My God. Right down the middle of my back, up between my shoulder blades. Your mother has arthritis? Very much so. All and, right. Um, she's that's paralyzed. Paralyzed. All right. That's it. Goodness. She, you know what I'm saying? Do you, do you make, I mean, are you guys moving her around? I know that she's, are you moving her enough? Um, I can't get her up in the chair, Miss uh -huh. Cleo, because, you know, I mean, she's dead weight. The only reason I'm saying that, because... The, there is some, there's some serious atrophy here, and it, it hurts. It hurts me. So even though she's paralyzed, there must be some kind of discomfort for she. Because this is, this, I'm telling you, I am in some pain right now. You hear what I'm saying to you? Uh -huh. Is there any way, even once a week, you can get somebody to come and just help you to kind of prop her up? She would appreciate that as well as her body would. Do you understand? Yes. Okay? I'd love to talk to you again sometime. You can always reach me, baby. One extension, one six one five tree. All right. I, I'm sorry. Let me write that down, Cleo. Um, they put it up on the screen on the show, but I, go ahead and get a pencil. Okay. And extension one six one five tree. All right. Okay. Take care of yourself, baby. I'll be praying for you. Oh, 
I thank you so much, Miss Cleo. You're welcome, sweetheart. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. The cards give me an insight into your life. Call me now for your own tarot reading and find out what I have to tell you. The tarot cards are a mirror into your soul. The cards offer a clear vision of your future. Call now for your tarot reading. Caller? Yes? Hello there. How are you today, dear? How are you, Miss Cleo? <laughs> I'm fine, baby. <laughs> What's your name, sweetheart? My name's Demetrius. Demetrius! Aren't you a sweet one? Come and give me your birthday, Demetrius. It's 12-11-81. All right, baby, and what can I do for you? Um, I've seen you help people on television, and you guided them in the right direction. Um, could you tell me what type of direction is my life headed into? I'm going to cut the cards, and I'm going to take a look and see what's going on around you, all right? Okay. I'm also a little bit concerned about how much you extend yourself to other people, correct? Right. Yeah, because right. you, your, your back has, um, what do you call them, um, tennis shoe tracks on it. Incredible. You understand me? Because you might as well just go ahead and lie down at the front door and invite people to walk all over you. Yes. You yes. understand me? Including the partners that you choose. You hear me, Demetrius? I hear you, Cleo. All right, because you know I'm going to tell you what'll go on, right? Right. Okay, because you choose, you choose sorry people them. Right. You choose sorry people that come and like you spin your money up. Right. You understand? And you give it away like it's candy. Right. And your money, you work hard for your money. Yes, I do. You're a hard-working man. Yes, I am. You understand? You're too easy. Right. And why you let so many people? You talk too much. Oh. Doggone it. <laughs> Stop talking so much and tell everybody your business. You hear me? I hear you. <laughs> but, uh, people are talking about you like it is a thing to do. Your love life is public knowledge. Oh, goodness. You know what me telling you, right? I do, I do. <laughs> all right, because all the first card I see is the moon card. Yes. And then your feelings get mash up. Jesus. And, and so then you're sitting up for the last four nights. Somebody must have hurt your feelings. Somebody was talking about you. Let me tell you what, me see. Somebody was talking about you. Somebody has all your business out there. Right. You trusted somebody. Last four nights, your feelings have been hurt. So you've been up all night. Yes. You haven't been. And this is around a relationship. Oh, Talk about it. Uh, okay, don't make me take you to church, young man. <laughs> you hear me? I said a relationship, and the relationship is not all that bad. Right. But too many people up in your business. Mm. Mm -mm. You hear what me say to you? Go ahead. All right? Mm -hmm. And then you're worried. Now, why are you worried so much about this per person not being faithful? I don't see them cheating. I don't know. Because you're insecure. That's not, that's not their fault. Right. And you see, I'm working very hard to protect you because I'm not going to put your stuff out there. You hear me? Right. But you cannot continue to keep fretting and carrying on because you're going to run them right off. Okay. And keep your mouth shut. <laughs> That's all you need to do. <laughs> all right, Miss Cleo. All right, baby. I love you. Take care of yourself, huh? Thank you so much. Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye. Step out of the darkness and into the light. Let me illuminate your path with a reading now. The power of the tarot cards can turn your fantasies into reality. Call for your tarot reading now. Hello? Yes? Hi, sweetie. We're just testing to see if I can hear you. Can you speak up a little bit louder for me? Sure, I can. Oh, don't you have the sweetest voice? Oh, oh I'm thank so, you. I'm so glad you called me. You make my heart lift up. That's supposed. I'm supposed to do that for you, but you have done it for me. <laughs> Well, thank you. Yeah, that's pretty good. You can hear me good too, sweetheart? I sure can. Oh, wonderful. Yes, that works. Thank you. Okay, so now we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and ask you your name and the city that you're calling me from. Um, my name's Carrie. All right, Carrie. And what city, honey? Denton. Okay. And what's your birth date, Carrie? My birth date is 7-8-78. 7-8-78. All right, darling. Let's take a quick look. I'm going to cut the cards for you, Carrie. Okay. And I'm going to take a look here. Now, Carrie, I would imagine here that part of the reason, oh, my, well, you have some good news and some interesting news. Because over the last seven months, or maybe perhaps even in the month of July, was there some struggling that you were going through, honey? Yes. All right. Now, are you still with the gentleman that I see you with here by the Two of Cups? Uh, yes. Is it, now, is this your husband or fiancé? This is my husband. All right, because it seems a stronger bond than just a boyfriend, all right? Yes. Now, also, at this point, and it's interesting because, but that is getting better. The relationship is stronger now, correct? Yes. Next to the relationship card, the marriage that I see between the two of you, yes. there is the Empress card. The Empress card can say many things, but when she is standing next to a couple, 
She usually uh -huh. indicates that there is a warning of a pregnancy coming in the next three months or so. Okay. <laughs> okay? But I want you to be very careful because one of your pregnancies was difficult, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. My concern, this next pregnancy, I see the chariot card in a reverse position. And I want you to be careful because I don't want you to miscarry. All right? Okay. Okay? Because you get... You get upset about a lot of things, Carrie, and you carry all of you. You're not very good at expressing your emotions, are you? Uh, no. Yeah. So you pull everything inward. Please be careful with the amount of stress, all right? Okay. This stress, and this stress is something that you, not that you can control, but this is coming from family. Yes. <laughs> My goodness, both of your families are involved in all y'all's business. Yes, they are. <laughs> My goodness, because one of them doesn't live far. Do you live down the street? Oh, they live across the street. Yes, <laughs> man, get out of here. You must move. You must move. That is too close. I see them. Too, that's too close. Okay. Now, the, one of the, I'm looking at a child here, which is a little girl. Uh, well, she's four. Is she the most spoiled, though? Because she seems to be the one that does the most whining. Yes, she does whine a lot. Yeah, she, and she's not sleeping well. No, she does not. She sleeps with me. <laughs> Mommy, come now. You must stop that. Mm -hmm. Enough. That is what the problem is. You've got to stop that, all right? That is not part. You're laughing at me. Stop laughing at me. <laughs> Listen to me well. And I know your mommy has told you this as well as your mother-in-law. That is a bad practice. Yeah, it and is. You're not helping her. You understand? And you're not helping your marriage because let me tell you something. Your husband going to get a little bit tired of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you're talking about the new baby, you got to get a start and get the other baby out of the bed. Yeah. All right? Okay. Ha you made my day, honey. You have a wonderful life. Things are going to be fine. And move, please. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. The spirits allow the cards to be a mystical guide into your life. They let me see your past, your present, and your future. Let me put my abilities to work for you. And call me for your personal reading now. The tarot cards allow you to control your destiny. Call for your tarot reading right now. $5.99 per minute must be 18 for entertainment only. What is your first name, dear? Tori. And Tori, what is your birth date? 3-12-81. All right, sweetie, did you have a question for me today? Yeah, my love life. All right, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm going to try and protect you and not give too much information out. You know what I'm talking about already, don't you? Yeah. Yes, huh? I do. You do? Yeah, speak up. Don't get quiet on me now, Tori. <laughs> Yeah, see, they want to get quiet when I want to talk about because I'm already seeing plenty of things around you, young one. Okay. All right, I'm going to take a look because I'll be honest. Uh-huh. Mm, there is, there, there is, uh, you want to know about your love life, but you're trying to hedge your bets, darling. I'm trying to do what? Hedge your bets. Uh-huh. Because there is more than one man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's all we want to see is uh-huh. <laughs> now, we're going to be tonight. Don't care cause all 